What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's six-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. It's been a long week with no NBA games, and I've missed each and every one of you, even though maybe I haven't missed having to do work every day. But let's get that power of positivity back on track for our return to the NBA. And right now, please hit that like button if you want your chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus, courtesy of Superdraft. Like this video and comment your top overall value according to DraftKings salaries down below. It's your chance to get back on track after this all-star break so do it right now by liking this video and commenting your top value play down below. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get right into our first corner of the top owned plays. And Shaq Harrison in a game versus Charlotte, there's 107.5 implied points for Chicago. We're getting weird right away with 29% expected ownership for Shaq on DraftKings, as well as 19% on FanDuel. Harrison is at minimum prices, and he averages 1.04 fantasy points a minute this year. And he's shown 45 fantasy point upside early this year when playing in the mid 20s minutes. But it'll be a more bankable play if he's confirmed to start with Chandler Hutchinson out today. Our next top owned play looks like Joel Embiid in a game versus Brooklyn. Brooklyn was 111.8 implied points for Philadelphia. Embiid has 23% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he's 29% on FanDuel. Embiid would stand a benefit if Al Horford comes off the bench with his price at a reasonable level and a strong matchup against Brooklyn, a team that Embiid showed 77 fantasy point upside against last season. And our last top owned play looks like De'Aaron Fox in a game versus Memphis, where it was 114.3 implied points for Sacramento. Fox is 28% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he's 25% on FanDuel. Fox is at reasonable prices for a game that should be high paced versus Memphis, and a secure role with Fox's team leading 30 percent usage and 37 percent assist rates. And now for our next corner here are the current top value plays on the slate starting with Bruce Brown in a game versus Milwaukee where there's 106.3 implied points for Detroit. Despite some blowout risk Brown should have an even more secure role with Reggie Jackson bought out with a one fantasy points minute average when Jackson, Andre Drummond, and Blake Griffin were off the floor this year. Another absence aided top value play looks like Kobe White in that game versus Charlotte where there's 107.5 implied points for Chicago. White's minutes get even more secure with Chandler Hutchinson out and he's a viable pivot to Shaq Harrison from a minutes perspective with a 23% usage rate that offers him some more reliable upside. And our last current top value play looks like Jordan Poole in a game versus Houston where 112 implied points for Golden State. Poole will maintain his alleged starting point guard role where he doesn't see a ton more assist upside, but he was second in the team in shot attempts last game while picking up 32 minutes of court time. And now for our next corner, here are some other core plays that I'm looking at in the slate, starting with James Harden in the game at Golden State where there's 122 implied points for Houston. Harden looks like slightly better value than Russell Westbrook, but both are strong plays against Golden State's 110.2 defensive rating in a game where Houston has a slate high 122 implied total. And in that same game on the other side, another core player looks like Marquise Chris in the game versus Houston, where's 112 implied points for Golden State. Chris averages 1.1 fantasy points a minute this year, and he's seen 27 or more minutes in his last four games, with Houston's lack of size likely to give Chris solid opportunity, with 45 fantasy point upsides as his role is solidified. And my last core play currently looks like Robert Covington in that game at Golden State, where there's 122 implied points for Houston. Covington has at least seven three-point attempts in each game since joining Houston, and he had 39.25 fantasy points in their last game before the break, despite just three for 11 shooting. And now for our last corner here, some lower owned dart throws that I'm looking at, starting with Trey Young in a game versus Miami, where there's 111.8 implied points for Atlanta. Trey is yet to top 40 fantasy points versus Miami this year, but he has all the usage and ball handling time to do more, with little ownership expected his way thanks to the tough matchup on paper. Another lower owned dart throw for me looks like Terry Rozier in that game at Chicago, where there's 103.5 implied points for Charlotte. Rozier has only cracked 30 fantasy points once in his last five games before the break, and his usage has been down, but he's very cheap if he comes out swinging after the All-Star break. And my last lower owned dart throw looks like Dwayne Dedman in the game versus Miami, where there's 111.8 implied points for Atlanta. Foul troubles limited Dedman to 18 minutes last game, but he's had at least 25.5 fantasy points in his last five games. He has a secure role for Atlanta with a matchup where his size should be needed against Miami. So that's what I'm seeing so far for today's slate. So let's get back in the swing of things by right now hitting that like button. If you want your chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top overall value according to DraftKings salaries down in the comments below. And as always, those free months of Osmo Plus come courtesy of Superdraft. So right now, head over to superdraft.io and use the promo code Osmo when you sign up to get yourself $20 free with a deposit of $100 or more. You also have a gigantic tournament going on today with 10K up top to first place. So check them out right now at superdraft.io and use the promo code Osmo when you sign up for $20 free on a deposit of $100 or more. You can play smarter in the second half of this NBA season by using this promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first week of Osmo Plus. Use the promo code Switch and Hedge at osmo.com slash join 
join right now. Get half off your first week of any weekly package. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spaggs. Now that we're back with the NBA season, I'm going to be back and active on Twitter. So check me out right now and see what I'm posting, what articles and videos I'm working on on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spaggs. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later today for 90 minutes, including that super draft half hour right before their slate locks at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. So tune in then. And of course, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for one last four corners to close out this week. So hope you guys had a great time off. Hope you guys have a lot of success in the second half of the NBA season. I'm rooting for all of us. And I'll see you guys again soon. So enjoy your nights and good luck.